everybody, welcome back to my carving shed here in Virginia. My name is Hunter, and today we are going to cover the topic of rusting a skull. So uh, results are really cool, and the process is, quite frankly, very simple. Uh, so this video is going to be turning out to be fairly short to the point, but I'm going to give you some pointers as far as skulls goes, uh, putting some rust onto a skull in particular. So coating an object in rust is nothing new, even on a skull. Um, shout out to Junk Workshop on YouTube who did a how-to video on rusting an object, and he even included a bone uh, in the video. But for this video, like I said, I'm gonna kinda go into a little more detail as far uh, as skulls and give you some uh, different tips and tricks for those. Now, um, rust, rust is simply oxidation. Uh, it combines le uh, iron, oxygen and water. So oxygen and water are essentially just air because air has moisture in it. That creates um, oxidation reaction and then the result is rust. Now you can add certain things, certain chemicals uh, to that which then accelerate um, the oxidation and the rust. So we will cover that in, that, uh, in this video as well. Tip number one, you're going to want to make sure that the skull that you use is free from grease, grime, dust, dirt, anything that will prevent a great connection of that iron that we paint on it. For this video, I will be using a raccoon skull that I have already cleaned. So it's free from grease, really nice and clean, uh, and it will be a great example of putting rust on a skull. Now, as far as the materials, you can either go one of two ways. You can either buy a pre-made, pre-mixed, um, iron paint and this is essentially what uh, you could make yourself um, this is metal effects oxidizing iron paint um, I'll leave links for this in the description I'm not a big fan of this personally um, it's super super thick and it just it's hard to for for the purpose of a skull uh, since there's so many crevices and it's not just like a flat surface um, it's hard to get a nice even layer with this on a skull so I'm not necessarily gonna recommend it. It's, it's a great product, um, but for skulls, I, I kinda stay away from that. Now, what you can do is kind of a home recipe, and you're going to need iron powder, and then a polyurethane, but with the polyurethane, you want a water-based polyurethane, not an oil-based. And the reason for that is the oil-based will kind of encapsulate the iron uh, powder, and then prevent it from rusting, which obviously you don't want. Now for the iron mixture itself, it's really not that complicated. You're just gonna add in enough of that um, polyurethane to the iron powder so that it can be applied to a surface. So um, for this, it's usually about half and half or maybe one thirds of the iron powder to two thirds of the polyurethane. Um, if you put too much of the polyurethane in there, it's gonna be really thin. You may have to put several coats of it onto the skull. Uh, if you put too little, then it's gonna be super thick and it's gonna be hard to apply. So just add some in, mix it around, see how it feels, add some more in. Uh, you just want you want a good, you know, thick layer, uh, a good consistency to it, uh, as you will see as you go along. Okay, I apologize, there's so much talking in, this, in the video, I didn't plan for that, but there's just a couple things, like I said, um, that. I want you to know so you can do this right. Uh, so we've got our iron dust painted on. It's not dry yet, it's been on there uh, just a few minutes. So you can do this one of two ways. You can either add the activator while it is wet or while it after it dries. If you add the activator after it dries, you will have to uh, agitate the surface uh, to expose the iron powder. You can do that with sandpaper, you can do that with soda blaster, which is one of my favorite things, or even uh, you can do it with some steel wool. Now as far as the activator itself, um, you can buy a rust activator from Metal Effects or any other place that sells it. Uh, that's what I'll be using today, just because it's already in my spray bottle. But equally as well, you can simply make your own activator. It's not that hard. Um, white vinegar works really well. Salt mixed with water uh, with some hydrogen peroxide. There's no perfect recipe for that. Just mix them together. It will all work really well. After you add the activator, wait a few minutes and then add some more. You'll, you'll begin to start to see it 
uh, rusting a little bit, but it's really going to take almost a day or so to fully rust. Any areas that didn't rust, you can simply go back, uh, like I said, with maybe sandpaper or something, a little bit, something like that, rough it up, add some more activator, and then it will rust up. Now, as far as the teeth goes, um, if you want to leave the teeth natural, there's two things you can do. Either you can take the teeth completely out, okay, before you do any of this, and then put them in after. If you do that, though, you're going to have to be very careful not to fill up the, uh, the sockets with the um, iron powder, the iron mixture, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to get those teeth back into the sockets. Second thing you can do, uh, which re works really well with larger animals, is simply tape the teeth and then remove the teeth after the skull has rusted. And that is all you have to do. Uh, let it rust out, and then if you would like, you can add a clear coat to it, just a light clear coat, uh, to prevent that rust from rubbing off into onto any surrounding area that you may be displaying the skull. If you would like, I'll leave a, little, uh, a link in the description of this video to um, the clear coat that I would recommend. But yeah, it's really simple. I know I did a lot of talking, um, but really all it is is just iron powder mixed with um, polyurethane, you paint it onto the skull, you add an activator, and then you let it rust. And that's it. Now I'm going to let this particular skull sit for a day or so and let it rust out, but um, here in a second I'll show you a bunch of photos, uh, videos on the different skulls that I've done with the rust on them. Now I cannot do any video without having to include uh, skull carving into it. You know me, this, this is, my whole channel is about skull carving. So uh, adding the rust effect onto a skull works really great in combination with carving on a skull. Um, the one thing I would recommend though is you are going to lose some little details uh, if you're doing like really detailed carvings. So maybe not that great for you know that really detailed carvings, but more larger, more uh, obvious things like I'll show you again uh, here in a second. I'll show some photos of a, a carved skull I add, added the rust effect to. And you can kind of see it's, it's larger, uh, the design is a bit larger. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for sticking around through all my blabbering. Do try this yourself. Let me know how it goes. Tag me. Send me some photos. I would love to see how your all's skulls turn out. Do subscribe if you have not. Got another video coming out next Monday. So, I hope you're excited as I am for that. And uh, do let me know in the comments how things are going and what you thought. Alright, thank you guys. Thank you for sticking around. I did want to say if you are interested uh, or you have been interested in starting some skull carving or you've dabbled in it a little bit, I have a bunch of free information in addition to this whole YouTube channel on my website. Put it down here. Um, I have a page that's just dedicated to the different tools that I use, different burrs. There's free designs you can download and practice with. There's an, an entire uh, video course, it's like six videos on how to stain skulls that's not included on this YouTube channel, completely free uh, on my website. So uh, you can go there, check that out if you would like to learn more about starting carving. And um, as most, some of you, most of you know, uh, there is a 24 hour giveaway in the description of this video. I will be giving away uh, a rusted badger skull. So it does have the teeth that are rusted, so the teeth are not natural. But if you like that look, um, I just showed it here a few seconds ago, um, I will be giving that one away in the description of this video 24 hours after I publish the video. Alright guys, thanks again.